Hi, just a quick video, no intro or anything, on the perils of buying things off the internet or eBay or whatever, buying chips that is. So this is my 6502 project. So this is the actual 6502 board and this is the debugger part of it connected to an Arduino Mega, which is doing some of the heavy lifting here of, of um, analysing the address lines. Anyway, that's for other videos. When I first built this, I can see it's reasonably complicated and quite messy in places. I think I did a reasonable job. I was testing, making sure connections, doing various checks. So it came to the day when I came to test it. You can see it's all running fine here. It's currently, the 6502 is currently up, um, executing NOP instructions, no operation instructions. So it basically just ended up going through the address bus, counting up as you can see. So it didn't work. And why did it not work? Because we didn't have this chip in here, did we? Let me just unplug for a second, because the chip we had in originally was this one, a 6502, a Western Design Centre one, a W65CO2 Western Design Centre uh, 6502, so the slightly newer one that you can get. So let's put this in, and we'll see what this one does when I pop it in. There we go, plug it in. There'll be a slight delay before the, um, the Arduino Mega completely powers up, it takes a little few seconds on power up to actually start executing code come on there we go and you can see it's not doing an awful lot and that was it so um, one of the things I can do on this uh, board I can select this switch here and if I select it downwards then this switch this push button is then the clock the clock is indicated by this LED here. This is a set of um, various statuses of the 6502, various pins that show a status on the 6502, and that's the clock. One of the pins, which is actually not hooked up to here, also shows the inverse of that clock. It outputs the inverse. So if this is high, the clock is high, that puts low, and if it's low, and that, that puts out high, etc. It's the inverse. So when this didn't work, I actually probed some various pins. I also probed that pin, and it didn't do anything, just stayed high or something. And then some of the voltages on the other pin, it just didn't make sense. It, none of it made sense. So it left a couple of options. This is a broken 6502, or it's a fake one. So I'll plug the other one back in. And one of the things I did, let me just get this other module one second, might do a jump cut. So, just back, I'll just pop the working 6542 back in. Again, these are Western Design Center ones. These can run up to 14 megahertz. So, I'll just move that out of the way slightly as well. Because one of the things I did, I have this project that I built, this prototype that I built uh, around about 30 years ago now. This is a 6502 system. There is a 6502. It's an old... Rockwell one, you can see the date code on it, is uh, 1990, 19th week, 1990, because this is, as I say, it's around 30 years ago when I actually built this. So I swapped in this one, which should be a straightforward, just drop it in and it'll work. And it didn't. And this, this, this works, you know, I've, I've tested this again before I actually plugged this in. This all works, it actually produces some uh, digitized sound, among other things that it can do. I've had that on the channel before. I'll put a link into that video if you want to see more about that down below so anyway let's just plug the, oh sorry not the camera so this is a bit of a quick and rough ready video so let's plug that in as i said the arduino mega takes a little bit of time to just kick up we'll let it just start up come on there we go and it's on single shot mode so if i press the clock it's executing well it's not executing instructions it's got to do about seven clock cycles before it starts to get here we go uh, a certain address or i can say i can switch on to fast running mode or I can turn it off. So what's going on? Fake or broken? Well, fake. The reason I know is obviously a bit of an internet search. This chip has the manufacturer's name as UMC. And underneath it has W65CO2, as in the Western Design Centre 65CO2. Looking on the internet, any chip. UMC do make chips, but they do not make a W65CO2. That's just the Western Design Center. That has a Western Design Center logo on there. So this one is fake. And it was it was said that anything with UMC in, UMC on and W6, W65CO2 on, 
the fake chips that was on some group I found, I can't remember when the post was, it could have been a post that was a good couple of years old now, but yeah, fake chips. Rather annoyed, why don't I get my money back? Well, because I bought this over a year ago, just bought it on good faith, thought that'd be fine, but no, it isn't. No idea what that chip is. This one I bought from somebody who had a very reputable reputation for supplying good chips. I also looked at the photo and it has on WDC rather than the UMC that this had on. And it didn't see, everything was fine. My design was perfect and I must have been, I was pulling my hair out for a while thinking I'd done something wrong, trying to figure out why this wasn't running. Uh, whether it was an old 6502 that isn't what they call a static process, that means it can't run from a static clock. Because I was testing it with the clock static like that where I just pressed it like that. The old 6502 would not work like that if it was left to not run in between. You know, it had to have a clock that was constantly pulsing. Um, so there you are, the perils of. So just be careful if you're getting one of these, if you're following my project along, make sure you get a WDC, Western Design Centre, official proper chip. Nothing with UMC on. If you want something that's very, very guaranteed to work, then get it from Mouser. Mouser sell these, um, when I looked, they had nearly 10,000 in stock. They sell these new, and Mouser are not going to be selling fake parts. Whereas an eBay, it's a bit more of a, it's a bit more of a wild west, isn't it? Anyway, that's all for now. So hopefully, in this, that has absorbed a lot of my time sorting that out. Hopefully that, uh, it, Hopefully soon, I can get my words out, hopefully soon we'll get a video out going through this actual 6502 project and this debugger board. All for now, thanks for watching, thumbs up, all that lot. Uh, thanks patrons, see you all later.